Hey everybody, so I just wanted to do a real quick um, unboxing and kind of like a try on of what came in this month's Ipsy. Now everybody heard that this was the gold bag Ipsy and apparently that was supposed to be a huge deal. I did not know that so I did throw away my gold bag. Sorry if you were wanting to see that but I don't have the gold bag but I do have the bag it came in. I got this kind of pink and purple wild and free bag with a little gold tassel. This month was really cute. It says Ipsy on the bottom. <clears throat> so if you want to just dive right in, I have my foundation on and I'm going to give a couple of these products a quick try and see how they work out. So first up, I'm going to do these together. We have got the balm and this is just um, like a little baby eyeshadow. I couldn't pronounce that name if I tried, so don't don't get me lying if you can see it there. It's just a nice little shimmer. Um, I'm doing another tutorial in just a minute, but this looks like a perfect transition shade. So we are going to toss on some MAC Paint Pot, and then we are going to toss on some of that eyeshadow. And this is what the MAC Paint Pot looks like. I always lay this down before any eyeshadow uh, it just gives you like a really good primer base and then that eyeshadow kind of neutralizes it just to keep it from being quite so sticky and to help everything to blend just a little bit better sorry guys I'm trying to learn how to do this where you can actually see what I'm doing a little bit better Okay, so we've got that MAC Paint Pot on there, <clears throat> and we are going to apply this with the brush I got in this month's bag. It's this really pretty teal color. It matches my background. This is pink. It's got two little green stones. The tip is kind of green, and it is by... Something Glam. Can't really read today. There's a brand, and it's just a precise blending. I'm going to use it to just dip into here. Oh, this doesn't pick up real good, but I'm going to take it and just lay it down in my crease. And it's supposed to be a shadow and a luminizer, so I guess you can use this as a highlight too if you wanted to. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, if you can see that. But we're just going to lay this down and that is a pretty nice little shadow. <clears throat> Next up we have got this Pro Cover Up Concealer. This is by Aurora. They paired with Ipsy to do this apparently. It says Ipsy on it. Um, I don't think it came... Oh yeah, it did. this is Balmy Beige. Here is the color. Okay, so we're just going to take a little bit of this and lay it down and see how it covers up all these dark circles I've got going on under here. It looks like I might still have some mascara from when I took it off last night. I will say this applicator is not very good. Um, I know you're not supposed to just like pile on concealer, but I do anyways, and I can't hardly get any product out unless I just like straight scoop it out. <clears throat> I'm gonna put that there, and then we're gonna take my dirty little blending sponge, and we're just gonna go in here. Okay, so my standards on concealer are ridiculously high, I suppose, because I'm so used to my shape tape that y'all know I switched to a few weeks ago, and it's, it's just perfect, and it does 
so much and I feel like I can still see a whole bunch of dark which I was up late last night so I guess it's not too fair to judge um the last product I have in here is this Pacifica and if you can see like it's as big as my whole hand it's a huge product it's a blush and a bronzer it says it's just blush but I mean I would use this one more for a bronzer than anything because I'm really fair um, it comes with a mirror on the back. You can see my camera right there. And then it is a coconut blush. It's coconut infused, vegan, cruelty free, all that good jazz. Um, so we're just going to dip into this and see what it does. <sighs> so I'm going to use this brush that I got in my boxy charm. It's a Royal and Lang Nickel uh, pointed blush brush. I actually really like this. <laughs> it's already dirty. Um, I cleaned it but the handle is dirty so we're gonna take this ooh pigment way too much we're gonna tap that off and we're just gonna take it here and kind of contour a little bit with it and I am probably gonna go back and actually contour my face but I want to see what this can do so we're gonna take this in here and try to contour just a little bit see what it's got I wish I had some better lighting but all the batteries in my mirrors went dead because of course they would all at the same time okay so I feel like that gave me a little extra warmth so we're going to wipe off this little buddy and then we're going to dip into this blush. It's got some pretty good pigment with it too, so tap. And then just put it on the apples and blend it in. And then just do the other side yeah, some pretty good color okay um and I did lie that is not the last thing that came but it is the last thing I can show you that came I also got these two uh, they're like face food yogurt mask I got them in kiwi and strawberry I'm not the biggest fan of face masks. It's just not my thing. I don't ever use them. And I think these are the kind that I have to like... Yeah, I have to like rub it on my face. If I'm going to wear a mask, I'd rather it be like pre-made than like a yogurt. I don't know. Just weird to me. It's a personal thing. I was excited because it is a very rare month when everything actually fits in my little bag. And that helps me just kind of keep it organized because it all fits this time. But I'm sorry there's not more um, products in here so I can give you a full look. But overall, I think this is a pretty good little bag. I was about to cancel Ipsy and then they just had to come out and give me like full size products and a really nice brush because of course they did. So I guess we'll be sticking with them for another month and I even have something coming in next month that I redeem my points for and I cannot wait to show it to you guys so here is the bag and i'll see y'all in my next video have a good day guys